Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the s uh, sixth, seventh, seventh, sixth, seventh, I think, episode of my Let's Play of European Universe Alliance 2, or no, not European Universe, Victoria 2, as Prussia in the Pop Demand mod. We, uh, in last episode, we, we were just about to cross into the line. We were finally going to finish off our treaty treaties with both Austria and uh, Wurttemberg down here. Hopefully you can wrest control of Wurttemberg. Oh, they are going to allow us to invest in their factories. Good. We'll open up their factories for them and build quite a few more to just increase our... Well, they're not, that's not going to make any money. <laughs> well, let's build some food factories. And uh, we'll build a bunch of factories in here because we're going to want to get them to love us. And the more we invest, the more they're going to love us. Um, can we make a factory that's going to be slightly profitable, please? Yes, thank you. We're just gonna make a bunch of factories. Sometimes they cut them down, like they're like, "Oh, we don't actually want those," and uh, they'll they'll throw them away. But let's build some cigarette factories. Yeah, that's good. And then the uh, last one we'll build is a uh, bakery. I think that's really good. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, like I said, sometimes they get closed down, but for right now it should be good. Um, ongoing elections. Oh God, what is all this? I can't even. I don't even understand the like tab system. Like, or, oh my God. So, any province gets government support. Ruling party support plus 50. Well, what the hell? As the Prussian election gets underway, it becomes clear that this will be a continuous one. The issues are clear and the battle lines between the parties are drawn. Okay, we shall see. Um, at least we can always change our... We can always change whatever party we are whenever we decide because we have the national value of might. Which is nice. Oh, we can release Silesia, apparently. I'm really curious to see at the end of this uh, what happens, or sorry, when we get to 1850, which we're really close to, when we form uh, North Germany, if we release all these guys as substates and get all that prestige, will, will that also, I'm pretty sure they'll just be integrated into us, I don't know. So, uh, wow, that's a lot of things that can happen. Oh, wow, this, this is completely different. All farmers... There is no need for a second trial. Justice demands a retrial. Let us try to weasel our way out of this, or we could lose militancy. But people that support pacifism will gain... Oh god, this is so so confusing. Uh, nobody supports... Nobody supports any pacifism. And nobody supports anti-military. Let's do that one. And let's see if we can't build any more army. Nope. We've been encouraging the army, but uh, it sadly it's not been doing that much. Okay, so whoa, we can lose prestige or we can get the immigration push. Alright, so, um, wow, the dreaded potato blight, the, the dreaded potato blight has struck one of our farming provinces, starving small holders, and in some places driving home families from their homes, the potato blight has caused a localized famine that threatens to spread. So we can spare no efforts in relieving the farmers, which for some reason makes us lose prestige. I feel like that would be a very prestigious action to take. Um, but we get Potato Blight. And then this is going to give us Potato Blight for another year. And they also get three consciousness. So, hmm. Well, we're going to lose prestige anyway. Is a whole year of minus ten prestige going to be... Well... Let them eat cake. How about that? That's what we'll do. So now we've got some prestige decay right now because of the potatoes. But we did increase our mobilization size. That's nice. Alright, so uh, national trade debate. Our trade must be protected, so that's going to give more consciousness. Pressure gets ongoing. Oh god. Everything gives more consciousness. So. Prussia, whereas not article will become more in favor of free trade. We won't be in favor of interventionalism, protectionism, I think, actually. Alright, well. Yeah, let's get that militancy, because who cares? It's hard. We have hardly any militancy. I just want this freaking consciousness to die down. But it keeps going up because we have liberal agitation, new idea, all these crap. All this in our infamy is barely doing it, too. Um. We want to be way in favor of moralism. Moralism is our conservative. We're trying to push them to be that way. Uh, oh, we got these rebels again. And we'll just take them out. Should be pretty easy. 
So we need liberal agitation. Send in the troops, which will gain us militancy. Yes, let's do that. Send in the troops. Militancy is nothing. As long as we can, if we can get militancy, that's fine. I just want con don't want consciousness. God, so annoying. Especially this election too. When's it over? By the seventh of September. Oh God! It's th thank God it's almost over. All right. Um, people that present free trade. Okay. Um. Well, we don't want to piss out. We don't want to be free trade either. Nobody care. Nobody likes free trade actually. All hostiles become 20% more. Ooh, lose consciousness. That's nice. 30% more in favor of free trade, though. We don't want that. We want them to be... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We just gained 0 0.02 infamy for that. That's fine. Or not infamy, but militancy, rather. I wish we had something to spend our money on. I mean, like, I know it kind of seems lame to say that, but we don't. There's nothing, really. We just built maybe some more factories? Suppress them, gain reactionary, get a new province, we'll get more. Oh god, gain 10% liberal in the upper house, and all pops were will become 2% more liberal, and the percentage of people that support liberal will gain 4 consciousness. Uh, let's do that. We're going to suppress them in the parliament and hope that the countryside stays calm. Man, this is going to be really annoying to be doing this, guys, while we're trying to fight in a war soon. So I hope you get your crap together. Uh, honestly, you have nothing better to do. Oh, this is a classic we discovered. All right, uh, it's good to see the classics receiving some attention. Socratic dialogues, anyone? I guess we're gonna get some more. Well, we don't really want to get more conscious, but that's okay. It was only point two consciousness. And uh, these guys are going to bitch about something. All right, let's see. Uh, people that present, no, we don't want that. All artisans in Prussia and Upper Silesia. All pops becomes twenty percent more in favor of protectionism. They're already, oh, they actually all support free trade. Well, let's do that. We're getting hardly any mil militancy, so I think it's fine. And good, our Prussian. Let's see how are we doing, by the way. Do we have a really good general versus their guy? No, he's actually pretty good. But this guy was a. Uh... He's a genius, so he's pretty cool. Awesome, we did field fortification so we can get more digging cat, which will make it nice to fight against Austria. How's Austria, by the way? They're at 36 military power? That's impressive. Hungary, on the other hand, is at 14 military power. Well, we are also, we are at 51, so, I mean, we're going to wreck them. Especially, just, just, just Prussia will be able to destroy Austria, not even counting the oodles of vassals that we have right here. For instance, Baden right now, or Bavaria rather, has like their own 18 power. All right, another alliance over from Luxembourg. No, Luxembourg, we're not going to be your ally. You have, oh, you have no cores on you. We still have these stupid ongoing elections. I don't even understand. What am I supposed to do about them? <laughs> uh, religion is a private matter. No, we want to be more in favor of moralism. Yeah, let's do that. And we still haven't we haven't killed all these rebels yet. We're actually not able to kill them all. We're just thinning them. Oh, but good. Uh, it looks like Bavaria is helping us out. Good thing they're not completely useless. Usually our vassal just sits around while our other, our you know, our, our sorry, our satellite just uh, sits around while our other guy just does nothing. Anyways, we're going to gain people that percent free trade are going to gain militancy. Well, they're already fully in militancy. So all capitalists lose. Everybody that's short, nobody supports, nobody supports protectionism. Well, they're already 100% in free trade, so let's, let's just grab that. It's giving us hardly any infant or I just really wish this consciousness would go down. It keeps like just fluctuating and not going down. Oh, thank God. Agitation dies down. Yay. And our relation with Ecuador goes down because they can't pay their bills. Why does that really, why, why does that happen? If I was Ecuador, I would be so nice about being, about not paying my bills. I'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they'd be like, no, you still have to pay. But still, I mean, I'd not like decrease my relation. That's stupid. Well, let's see. Well, we want to be capable to improve. What, what's our policy? We want to be jingoist. 
So we're going to be in more favor of Jingoism. Let's do that. You know, we'll gain slight bit of uh, a slight bit of militancy, which we don't really care about. Is this over yet? My God, this is taking forever. It's making us like we're never we're not going to get to 1850 this episode if it's like doesn't take. Come on, keep going fast. Yay! The elections. Conservative and Reactionaries Party got 100% of the vote. We'll form the basis of the government. Yay! Nothing changed. We just are conservative still. All right, good. We need to get to December. December is when our treaties run out with uh, Württemberg and Austria. Trouble is brewing. Uh, I guess we have to say yes, we're interested in this crisis. The United Kingdom is back to Estonia. What's this crisis? Estonia wants to acquire all cores from the Russian Empire. Where is Estonia? Is that That's probably like down here. Moldavia. We shall consider it. I don't think the Russians are going to be a good people to fight against right now. Where's Estonia, though? Congress, Poland. Is Estonia up here? No, that's like Latvia and stuff. What's the crisis over? Well, let's see. Who's who's Austria? Is slightly is strongly inclined to support them. Where's France going to go? France is going to support the Russians. Oh, whoa. Government support will be removed. Oh wow, Luddite will be removed from Prussia. All pops. Wow, we're gonna lose militancy and lose consciousness. That's good. And become more conservative. That's nice. But we lose all this, all this stuff. That sucks. Uh, Italy is gonna go for the Russians. France is gonna go for the Russians. Apparently, Austria is gonna go for the Russians. Belgium's the only one that thinks that they're going to try to help the UK, so we're probably going to want to help the Russians, clearly, because, uh, of course, the UK, they might be able to blockade us or whatever, but we're not going to have to deal with them too much. They have, like, what, 105 military power? Yeah, with the uh, with the French on our side, and uh, just ourselves, we should be fine with that. Are they at war or something? No. Well, let's improve relations anyway. Alright, so it looks like France has gone this way. We're going to go that way then. Just to support for the for the pure purpose of supporting A-side. Alright, so consciousness and nine. Okay, good. Alright, good. Battleship, come on. Finish this battleship column doctrine. So I can build more naval bases. And how's our fact or forts, by the way? Oh, good. We can expand some forts. Did our forts finish over here? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Good. Now we can expand them all to level 2 forts. How's Berlin's fort, too? I'm curious. Okay, we can expand that, then. Oh, so cool. So we got a Lord Admiral, which get organization and Navy organization as our minister. Okay. I mean, that's not really too beneficial to us right now, but whatever. Maybe it'll help us with our military tech here. Alright, but I just hope we don't go to war against uh, this. I hope they resolve this crisis, because I really want to go to war with Austria. Bloody revolutionaries, or we can get some of our, um... Four consciousness, Jesus. 10% reactionary. Alright, yeah, we'll get the militancy instead. And then Italy is clearly going to go for... Oh, wow, they actually changed their mind, and they're going to go with the UK now. But uh, France will crush them, and then we can also crush... Yeah, Portugal goes bankrupt. Okay. Well, we can add it into our sphere if we so desire, but I don't think we desire that too much. Alright, so now we should probably go back and get something in our culture or commerce, because we haven't done any in the commerce. Stock exchange might be a good idea, but we also want to get hmm, research points from there. So let's go ahead and grab late classical theory, because that's going to give us some research points. And let's go. Alright, uh, ooh, more moralists? Yeah, sure, more moralism, definitely. And uh, this crisis is probably going to blow up. More farming efficiency, fantastic. Well, we got our relations up while they could. But uh, it looks like we're going to be going to war over this uh, Estonia. I would have rather had seen Estonia been free, but of course we're not going to try to decide on anybody else before we, you know, form Germany and realize our full power. Ooh, can we start influencing the crap out of you now, Wurttemberg? Let's see. 
Alright. Is anybody else influencing our crap? I can't see because we have so many railroads building right now. Slush will be Colstein a little bit, but I'm not going to be mad there because we already have 100 in there. It's still, Den Denmark's still not hurting, bothering us. Or sorry, they haven't even gotten... Wow. Somehow we still hold... We have everything. So everything's pretty much on lock. Wurttemberg is accusing... Oh, Italy? Whoa. Dude, that was the fastest slap in the face i ever seen. Wow. Everyone's opposed to Wurttemberg. I can't believe that happened so quickly. Negotiate with leaders, or Red Strata becomes more militant. Um, let's see. Well, we don't want to be more liberal, but let's justify war with Austria. Can we justify while we're in a... Yeah. Let's justify to acquire state... Well, that's going to be a lot. Maybe liberating a country or freeing a people would be the best thing. We're just humiliating them, but I think... F let's acquire a state, because, I mean, we might not get that much infamy, and we can definitely take the infamy hit. And, of course, as long as this crisis doesn't uh, blow up and they just accept white peace. Wurttemberg has banned us. Wow, that was so fast. We just got the hammer brought down on us instantly. They just, like, insta-banned us. That's stupid. Well, we got some more rebels again down here in, uh, in Baden. I guess Austria has been saving up for this day. And we can also add the Wargle to steak, take this from their sphere if they... Or we could just, you know, force Wurttemberg to be our puppet as well, if they uh, join the war against us. Which won't be so bad. We shall consider it. And then, of course, France, you know, our stalwart ally will always come to help us in times of need like this. And, uh, oh my god, look at that hungry man. 15 for just being a secondary power? Damn, that's pretty good. Alright, some more, some more rebels down here. Looks like we're gonna need to call in the backup. Bohemia, will you please come help? Where'd my troops go? Oh, they're invisible. They're magic! Alright, you stop there. We don't want you to go get yourself killed. We'll move in some extra troops. How about you come? Oh, we can't. There's no way else to get down there except for these stupid rebels. Hey, 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 numbskull, Bavaria. You want to come? Can we take control of your troops? No, we have to be in a war. Of course. Of course we have to be fighting in a war together. So stupid. Oh, some new music. I don't think this is part of the regular game. Or at least that sound wasn't. I guess it wasn't really music then. Let's move in and help our vassal here. Looks like you could use some help. And then we have 12,000 troops we'll move in to help here as well. Boom. Whoa, did we get completely just... Why did we get turned around there? Oh, we must have just come in at like the very last second to help and then we failed. Oh well. Now we're going to win. And then we can group up and take them out, take out that other party. Come on, kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Alright, we won the Battle of Mainz, and then we're going to win the other battle over there. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know you can do it. Go, pressure, go. Whoa. Revolution in Hamburg. Seriously, did Hamburg have... Well, they're still in our sphere, so that's fine. Um... We don't want to risk any trouble, and that's going to give us relation with Prussia. Change. Why would we get relation with ourselves? That's stupid. Oh, okay, okay. Everybody else, any pop that is Germanic and is a great power and is not Prussia will take a minus 25 hit. And gain this take from sphere thing. Yeah, we'll welcome their fidelity. Uh, let's go get these guys taking out these rebels. Here, we need to move troops in to help, because apparently our guys are too stupid to, or too slow. So let's move in troops down there. Alright, come on. We gotta hurry up and take out rebels, guys. Good, we got minimum life rating increased, yay. Alright, let's move in on this guy here, then. Since we're, we've got another army taking out that, we need to get this guy's capital free before he freaking tries to flip on us. Why are there so many freaking rebels all day? Like, come on. Oh, and this crisis is going to freaking explode, isn't it? Come on. Slashweek Holston, another brute band of rebels. Of course, more rebels. What are these guys, anyways? Germans? Come on, we're going to form the North German... Why can't we walk here? Why won't they accept? Oh. Okay. 
I guess we don't have enough relations to help them and against their rebels? Really? That's stupid. Oh well. well. We'll help them eventually, whether they like it or not. And we're still sending in more to- wow, all of our troops are busy fighting rebels. Well, we, we still have a bunch here, but... I mean, come on. So many rebels. Really? Alright, well they're gonna run that way, so we might as well chase them and kill their other friends over there. Uh, we're gonna send in the troops. Because militancy is okay with me. Definitely better than consciousness. And this crisis is going to explode too, isn't it? Right as soon as we're having all these rebel issues. But I think we'll be able to put them down before anything terrible happens. We'll have this one army just stay there. The other army can go fight. And, uh, good. Alright, so let's keep improving relations here with uh, Holstein so we can get an alliance with them. Because apparently they're too stupid to give us an alliance so that we can come help them with their guys. Okay, so we need to fight now, apparently. We're going to war. And Belgium, which has a military score of 18, is going to try to fight us. But whatever, we'll leave that to our allies, the fighting. Will you form an alliance with me now that we have sufficient relations, Jesus? Is Austria on our side in this war? Of course they're on our side in this war. And then we're going to have a truce with them so we can't forget... No, I think... I don't think so. Austria, France, and Prussia, yes. Alright, so fine. We'll let them go through just for the, sec the, the moment. And Schleswig Holstein, come on, be my friend. Be my friend, damn you. Why are we losing money? I guess because we can't trade with those guys anymore? It's whatever, we'll just raise taxes slightly. Alright, come on, be my friend. Yeah, that's right, you'll accept. Because you want me to come kill your rebels for you, don't you? Alright. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome in advance. We got rebels down here as well, so let's get these guys going. All right, that should be enough of an army to kill those guys. Uh, did we not finish? There, okay, we did. All right, they're just taking a while, <laughs> taking their damn time getting organized over there. Well, hopefully Austria will kill some of our rebels too. Nope, they don't want to. All right, come on, finish off these guys and help me with the other one. Uh, more liberal, or gain 10% of free trade, or lose militancy. Yeah, let's gain militancy. I don't mind getting a little bit militant, do you? No. Right, and then we'll take the rest of our army down there. As the rest of our army goes over there to help with that fight. Now, that should be the rest of our rebels, right? Please tell me that's the rest of my... Oh, we have we have these Holstein rebels, but that that they're almost done, too. Good. Alright, alright, alright. So let's, uh... Hopefully France doesn't get owned over here. Looks like their fleet is getting owned. But, uh, like I said, of course they can blockade us, but we have the... We have the, we have the definite advantage on the ground here, where we already have 3% war score. What, what do we need? We only need, like, a few percentage points more, and we can just peace out, right? Oh no, that's actually... Oh good, so we're 3% we're, we're positive, right? Because of defender occupations and blockades, attacker blockades. All right. Well, I don't understand that, but we will see how much. I'm sure Russia can come in there. Come on, Russia. You know you got a fleet. Where's your fleet, Russia? Did you already get killed? <laughs> oh well. There's there's the UK right there with their uh, few couple ships. Let's go out and attack their little tiny fleet here. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had, but um, they do have a small fleet there. I think maybe we can defeat it. I know you. I know UK has got an amazing navy, but it's not like invincible. Maybe we could beat them. Let's go over here and help. We'll help invade uh, Belgium since we've taken care of all of our rebel problems. It seems. Yes, that is correct. There are no more rebels. Fantastic. And our boats are going out to fight them. Yes. Okay. Come on, hurry up and fight them, and then come back because we don't want to be out there too long. Our Casas Belli generation speed has gone down, way down. Hopefully this war will be over within the year, because I really want to go to war with Austria over taking one of their states. Uh, we've got more guys in Schleswig Holstein and also Hesse. We want to battle in Gisian. Let's go get their stupid army. And uh, this guy here will go kill those guys. I really want to form 
North German Confederation. I'm so pissed. Okay, they discovered our acquire state thing. Oops. Sorry. Hopefully... Oh, we got an alliance offer from Sweden. Uh, sorry, Sweden. We don't really want to help you or be allied with you because you're probably going to try to get us into a war with Russia, which is not something I want to do. Oh, okay, good. Our, our rebel problems are almost done. Just come on, hurry up, get rid of those rebels, and let's just... Let's just ooh. Wow, we actually fought a battle and we lost against their troops, but come on, Russia. Come on, we were right there and you didn't want to help us. Are you serious? Russia, you bastard. Are we leading the siege over here? Yeah, we are leading the occupation of Leash. Yeah, sure, Russia, you can have military access. Why didn't you ask sooner? We got a bunch of rebels, apparently, factions organizing. We only have 1.9% chance of Jacobins, though, so not too scary. Uh, yeah, and all the rebels have been taken care of in our little guy's territory. So, where are these guys going? Belgium? Belgium, you're trying to chase me or something? No? Right, well then you get these 6,000 men can come back and just hang out. You guys can stay there. You guys can stay there. We'll just leave some armies down there just to deal with rebels as they pop up. And we're just going to chug along here because we want to get to 1850. Lose consciousness. Yeah, let's gain the militancy. Because we have way too much consciousness already. You shall consider it. Did we get this occupation? Yay, look at that. We helped. <laughs> Just kidding, not that much. But uh, let's take these 51,000 troops over there and just crush little uh, their little army. And then that should be the end of this war, right? Like, come on, we've completely occupied the entirety of... Oh, wow. We need to get all the way back up there. Oh, they've added to humiliate and stuff. Apparently we can't add war goals to them. Meh. We could have taken a state from them or something. That would have been cool. So we could either cover their losses and losing 25 ammunition... Yeah, let's cover their losses. That's fine. We have plenty of money. I don't really care. Uh, we want a bunch of reforms, though, right now. Weighted by wealth. Wow, they want all those... those um. They want all those other reforms. Those voting reforms. Alright, fine. We'll do weighted wealth, which will give us more immigrants and cost us belly acquisition speed. Okay, so that kind of makes up for the, uh, the other ones. Good. Battle of Achen. Did we win? Oh god, more rebels. Again, rebels. Why? Why so many rebels? Probably because they're having the same issues we are, and then they're just like, oh, we're not going to do anything because pressure will kill all of our rebels for us. Which is true, but, I mean, come on. Give me some slack here. Let's, uh, can't you, can't you like, appease your people for just long enough for me to freaking form uh, North German Confederation? Is it that big a deal? To just, you know, allow them to vote or whatever they want. It's probably something small like that. They want to vote. Are we still banned here? Yeah, we're still banned until until January of 1849. Until next year. No. Well, we probably shouldn't have left our ships out there. Damn it. Did we lose all of them? We probably did. Didn't we? We only have five. Yeah. Damn it. I forgot to take them back. That's my bad, guys. Late classical theory is finished, though. That's good. Alright. Let's see. What do we want to take? Probably another commerce thing. Maybe some more admin efficiency and tax efficiency. Or the stock exchange, which would give us a lot of ideas. And, uh... Hmm. Or organize oh, we need organized factories. I remember that for one of the uh, decisions. So we'll do that one. And uh, we can build afford to build some navy now. Let's build three man owners. And, uh, one, two, three, four... Four, five, and then two more mana wars, and that should be ten ships, and then we'll be maxed on our limit. But sorry, sorry about that, guys. We lost our freaking navy. You guys go up there, take that out, kill the rebels, kill them all, rebel scum. You guys go down there and kill those rebels too. Man, these rebels are annoying. Activate. Lumber. Cool. I think, didn't we already have lumber mill? Whatever. Alright, well I guess we need to take out those those uh, German rebels again. So, these we, the rebels are so common, I don't know, understand why. Probably because they want to unify, but I'm trying, I'm trying, come on, I need two more years. Can you give me some slack here? Jesus. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. We got a bunch of people trying to influence us now, everywhere. 
oh man, come on, can they give us a break? We're in the middle of a big old war, and they're like, oh, we're gonna influence all your stuff and steal it from you two years before you're gonna form North German. Anyways, like I said, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Spray and pray out.